Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back. How are you guys doing? Everybody good? Good. If you're not, just hang in there. It's We're gonna power through this, okay? It's gonna be fine. I am just here to be your escape for right now. We're gonna talk about makeup and all things frivolous and just have a good time. So if you're here for that, let's, let's just do that, right? Today, I am gonna share with you guys my new MAC eyeshadows. So, all right, here's what happened. I was organizing my collection, you know, as you do when you have all this time inside the house, and I was going through my expired products as well because I, I have, listen, okay, I've been collecting for years now, over a decade, so I have tons and tons of product, and I have tons of empty, well, not empties, but expired products from MAC. And with MAC, there is a Back to MAC program Program. So Back to Mac is a recycling program that Mac utilizes. They give you a reward for turning in six empty products. And those empty products can be eyeshadows or foundation or eyebrow pencils or mascaras. It's any of those single use individual items. If you have six of those, you can turn them in for a free lipstick, lip gloss, or eyeshadow at a free stand in Mac store. So we're not talking about the counters that you find in like Macy's and Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's. We're talking about a free stand in Mac store and it can be a pro Mac store as well. There's one in New York City that I used to go to Hmm, such good times. But if you go to a free stand-in store, so one that's a standalone, like a regular store, you can get a free eyeshadow with their Back to Mac program. But if you go to a MAC counter, you're only gonna be able to get a free lipstick. So keep that in mind. If you wanna get a free eyeshadow, you have to go to a free stand-in MAC store. Or you can even mail them in. Because I know they're doing back to MAC if you mail products in. So you can try it out that way as well. And that way you can get the eyeshadow, lipstick, or lip gloss. For me, what do you think I'm getting? I'm getting eyeshadows, okay? I am available for all the eyeshadows. So I went ahead and grab some new single eyeshadows, but I depotted them. <gasps> I know, I am not a fan of depotting eyeshadows. In fact, when I showed people in my collection video my drawer full of MAC eyeshadow pans, a lot of people are like, oh my God, you have to depot those so you can get back to MAC. And I'm like, no, leave my little pots alone. They're cute, okay? They're in their home and they're happy and they're free, so let them be, okay? I didn't mean to rhyme just now, but ha! <laughs> bars so here's what happened i picked up eight eyeshadows from back to mac yes that means i turned in 48 48 individual packaging for eight eyeshadows yeah that's how much i have okay so i got eight single eyeshadows in their little pots but I'm like, I want to have them in a palette because I'm finding myself using these palettes more and more and I want to use them in my Build A Palette series. So I was like, all right, I guess I have to depot them because they will not give you the single pro pens for Back to Mac, which I think is like, you're wasting time because you should just give me the little eyeshadow pens and we'll be fine. Like, it's okay. But they give you the actual little pots. So you have to depot these. And I'm going to show you how I do that in a second. But in addition to the new eight shades that I got from Back to Mac, I also picked up some new individual shades, okay? I have some of these already. But I wanted to get like a newer upgraded version because I don't know if the formulation has changed. Plus I've had some of my eyeshadows for years. So they're not going to be the same quality. They're not going to have the same performance anymore. Plus they have a new Powder Kiss eyeshadow formula. And I've been hearing so much about this Powder Kiss eyeshadow that I wanted to try it out myself. So they also have these available in Pro Pan form. And I'm like, excuse me, sign me up, please. Okay, I am available for this. So I have a few of those shades in here as well. Oh my God. So what I'm gonna do in this video is one, show you how I depot my eyeshadows. I will leave timestamps, all right? Cause we're gonna jump around. We're gonna do multiple things in this video. I am going to show you how I depot these eyeshadows. So in case you have MAC single pots that you wanna depot and you can use them for back to MAC as well, hey. But if you wanted to depot your pot eyeshadows, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I'm also gonna go through the shades that I picked up. I'm gonna do swatches for you guys. We're gonna get up close and personal with these shades, right? And we're also gonna swatch the Powder Kiss eyeshadows. And I think, yeah, that should be a fun video. So let's go ahead 
and dive into me depotting these eyeshadows. And then after that, we're gonna go through all the shades, talk about the names, swatch them out so you can see all that good stuff. And we're just gonna have fun with makeup today. So stay tuned, let's go ahead and depot these bad boys and then we'll go ahead and do swatches. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a pot and I'm using a non-stick frying pan, but I'm also grabbing a piece of aluminum foil and setting that into the pot. And I'll turn on my flame to heat up the pot and the aluminum foil. Now while the pan heats up, I'm gonna show you how to prep the eyeshadow pans. So for the MAC eyeshadows, they have a little bit of a lip under the lid. So you'll open up the pot and you'll see there is a line right at the lip that allows you to pry this eyeshadow pan out. So you just use a little bit of pressure and a sharp implement. Be careful when you do this. You can use tweezers or you can use anything with a fine point, but just gently pry the little pan out of the eyeshadow pot. So you're gonna have two separate pieces like this. And then once the pot is heated up, you're gonna go ahead and place the eyeshadow pan and also the pot on the foil itself. And you can do multiples at a time but you're gonna just need to remember which ones were in first because those will be the ones that you're gonna work with first. So I'm just gonna put a few onto the foil that I already separated. And you'll start kind of seeing a little bit of smoking at the edges. You can turn down the flame at that point. But once you pick up your pan, you will see that it started melting. This is perfect because with this part, you can grab the label off with a tweezer really easily. Then you can grab the eyeshadow itself, which has now melted at the bottom, and you can gently pry out the eyeshadow pot, just like that. And it will be hot, so be very careful with this. The back of the eyeshadow pan will still be a little bit sticky from the residue, so you can go ahead and just stick the label that we already removed right onto that stickiness. And then you can go ahead and pop the two pieces back together and use them for back to Mac. I'll go ahead and do a couple more just so you understand the process. So again, pop the pots out very gently, pry them out and place both pieces on the foil. And this process will not take very long for the plastic to start melting. So you can check, just quickly remove the label and then remove the eyeshadow from the pot as well. So you'll see the part with the eyeshadow actually starts to warp and you can just push against it and the eyeshadow will pop right out. And it's very sticky but very hot so be careful and just stick that right on. Alright, so here we have a selection of our depotted eyeshadows and I also have some of the Pro Pans and these will have magnets on the back of them because the MAC eyeshadow pans are not magnetized. So they will not stick easily to a magnetized palette. They will in fact move and slide around. So what you need to do to prevent that is add a little magnetized tab on the back of each of these eyeshadows. So what we're gonna do is grab the eyeshadow pan and remember, we stuck the label on the back when we had originally depotted them from the original packaging, but they're pretty easy to peel off. Just peel it off slowly. The adhesive is strong, but it is not strong enough to prevent you from removing the label from the back of the eyeshadows. And then you're going to grab the little metal tab and these fit exactly onto the back of these eyeshadow pans. They're 26 millimeters. So you're just gonna align the back of the eyeshadow with the metal pan for a nice seamless fit. And then go ahead and stick 
your label right back on and the label will fit right on the back of that eyeshadow and now it will stick to your magnetized palette so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these eyeshadow pans because I want them to go ahead and stick to my palette so again just grab the magnetized tab peel off the back end of the sticky label and line it up with the back of your pen and stick it right on and also go ahead and stick the label back onto the pen this way you can keep track of all your eyeshadow shade numbers you can also of course do this before you stick the label on the back of the eyeshadow pen just to make it easier but I wanted to make sure I didn't lose the labels and I didn't want to mix up the shades so that's why I just put the labels back on while the eyeshadow pens cool down because you don't want to stick the magnetized tab on the back of hot pants so you'd have to allow them to cool down of course you can just stick the eyeshadow label next to the eyeshadow pan and do it like that but since i was filming and i wanted you guys to see what i was doing i just went ahead and stuck the labels on while they were still warm but you see that the labels are still easy to pick off the back of the pans and stick them on all right guys so here are all the new mac eyeshadows i have in my collection i have the ones in here that we just deep potted and i showed you guys how to do that so they have their little labels on the back and they're magnetized now so they can stick onto this magnetic palette i also have some of the pro pans that i purchased as singles so i have some dazzle shadows I have some of the new Powder Kiss mattes, which are absolutely gorgeous. And just an assortment of new shades, as well as some old favorites. So what I'm going to do is just swatch these and have fun and show you some new shades that are available from MAC that you might be interested in picking up. And I'm going to incorporate these in uh, various Get Ready With Me's as well. So, I'll start out at the top. The first shade we have is Motif, which is an OG shade to the MAC lineup. It is a beautiful duochrome peach with a, it's almost like a light violet pink shift. It's so stunning. It works really great as an inner tear duct highlight for my skin tone, but I can also use it under the brow because it still has that kind of peachy tan look to it. It works so well and I really like it as an all over lid color as well. Then we have the shade Royal Rendezvous. This one is one of the new nudie brown shades and I got this because it looked like it would make the perfect transition shade or even an all over lid shade. It has more of a pinky undertone to it so you see it almost matches my skin tone exactly but it's a little bit more on the pinky side. And then I also got the shade Sandstone. This one is more of a gray based neutral brown. This is so stunning as well. You can use this in the crease just to give a little bit of shadowing because it has that gray undertone to it. So I really like that. And when I saw it, I was like, all right, gotta add it because I love a neutral like taupey brown and that's just gonna work great in more cool tone looks. Then we have the shade Marsh. This one is interesting. It's just a very pale green shade, a very pale, almost olive green, but it's so muted and dusty. I really like how it looks, like it's a green without being too green, you know what I mean? It's a subtle shade and it's more on the satin side. I know this matte doesn't put the finish on the back of their eyeshadows anymore, but it's more on the satin side. It doesn't feel like a full on matte. Then we have the shade Natural Wilderness. This one is a more, hmm, like a yellow tone brown. Yeah, it's like a dirty yellow. And it's really nice. I love having these neutral browns available. This one would work great in like warm tone looks or even like green looks because it has that like murky undertone to it. Then we have Finjan. This one is a medium tone brown that's also on the pink side. So it's a little bit deeper than this shade here, as you can see. Loving it. Here's one of our depotted shades, Cozy Gray. 
This one, oh my god, I think Cozy Gray is an existing shade, but I was so excited to get it because it's a beige shade, but it has like a light gray undertone to it. I love that. All right, we have some shimmers here, but let me swatch the last matte. This is Outre. This one is one of my permanent shades that I wanted to depot. I think it is discontinued because it was a limited edition shade, but it has this yellow mustardy undertone and it almost matches my skin tone exactly. I used to love picking up these shades from MAC. You can't even see that. I used to love picking up these shades from MAC because they work so well as transition shades for me. All right, let's move into the shimmer shades. This one is L.E.S. Artiste, Les Artiste. It's a light, taupey, silver shade. Where is the other? Okay, I see it. So this one I just thought was beautiful. The undertone is gorgeous. It's like a shimmery champagne, but it has like a gray base to it. And I think that just makes for beautiful, like subtle shine on the lids. I realized that I don't like really sparkly shades. I like subtle shimmer. So that was a great one for me to pick up. And then this one is Jingle Ball Bronze, another one of the depotted shade. This one is not as impressive. It's like a orangey tone copper shade, but I don't like the texture of it. It's not really shiny. It's not really, eh, it's just not a shade that I'm impressed by. I didn't, I didn't need to get that one pretty much. All right, let's move into the colorful shade. So we have mint condition. Do you guys remember this shade? I th oh my God, this is old school. Like, ah, oh, mint condition is gorgeous. Like, look at that. And that formulation is still top notch. Good for you, Mac. Oh, I love that. Here's one of the new shades. This one is What's the Wi-Fi? Come on now, this is one of their new greens. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, Shartavia was the one that put me on. She was like, girl, did you know Mac has new greens? And I'm like, what, tell me more. And this is one of the shades that she picked up. Stunning. It's such a bright green and it's so smooth. It applies so well. Yes. Yes Then we have memories of space. This is a shimmery yellow. It's a bright yellow But it's not a full-on matte. It has a little bit more of a satin feel to it But it applies matte which I really like and that's a good yellow. That's a nice one and then I'll wrap up these swatches and wipe them off in a second with a dazzle shade. So this one is Joy de Glitz. Joy de Gl I don't know, listen, okay? It's just a shimmery green and it's stunning. It's a beautiful like Christmas green. Well, not re is it? It's like an olivey green with gold shimmer. I really like that. I do like the Dazzle Shadows from MAC, and I'm glad that they have them in the Pro Pan so you don't have to buy them like in the little pots that are just so expensive. But here are those shades. So we have a bunch of neutrals, just everyday shades, and then we have some bright pops down here. All right, let's get into the other bright shades. All right, so let's look at these blues that I picked up. Oh my God, so this one is Triennial Wave. Isn't that stunning? If you know me, you know I love a blue. And MAC does have some, ooh, look at that. It's such a good blue. I feel like they've changed, is this supposed to be a matte? Because some of these mattes have like a little satin sheen to them, which makes them apply a little bit more smoothly, but they don't come off like a shimmer. That is stunning, look, oh, it's so good. Then this one is a deep potted one, which one is this, zingy. So this is an old limited edition shade and I wanted to get use out of it. Let's, ooh, sometimes you gotta scratch off that hard pan. Look at Zingy though, oh my God, that's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Here's a shade that I was just like, oh, listen, Mac, you're here, you're doing it. So this is a new purple, it's called Power to the Purple. Look at this shade because it looks a lot like <gasps> number 92. It's a little bit darker, like a little bit more rich than number 92. Number 92 is a little bit more bold, but 
Look at that dark purple and it's a matte and it's I love matte rich shades like they're so stunning to me and I love having shades like this available for colorful looks because I can use them instead of a black or a brown you know. Then we have Shady Santa. This is like a matte deep burgundy. I love matte deep burgundies like burnt reds. I love those kinds of shades. Look at it. It looks more brown, but it definitely has a red burgundy undertone. Do you see it? Stunning, right? Another deep potted shade. Let's see you well behaved. This is a new shade. It's an orangey shade and uh, it's like a red orange. Yeah, it's definitely like a blood orange shade. Nice, right? It feels a little drier though. This one does feel a little bit dry. And then this one is a, another one of the new greens. It's Mo Money, Mo Problems, Mo. Like Mac is out here trying to be hip. So this is like a deep, dirty money green. I love this. It reminds me of, what's that shade that I really love? Velvet Moss. Yes, I think this replaced Velvet Moss. I loved Velvet Moss so much because it was this mossy deep green, but they discontinued it, but I love that. That is so, so nice. All right, more matte shades. Let's see, oh. This one is Stormwatch, stunning. Stormwatch, again, beautiful shade, and I love that it's a matte, colorful shade. It's like a deep teal shade. Loving it. And then another deep teal shade is Plumage, right? They look very similar though. I don't think you need both, but you know me, I want both. Plumage is a little bit deeper, but you see they're very similar in tone. Really love both of these though. Then we have the shade Greystone. Come on, you know I love a deep matte gray. This is so soft. Ah, oh, shut your face. I'm in love. Look at that, right? That is such a beautiful matte gray shade. It has like more of a purpley tint to it though. Love that. Oh my God, that's stunning. And then we have this shimmery dazzle shadow. This is emerald cut. So this is like a beautiful emerald. Ooh, it's a little soft. Hold up now. Let me make sure I don't do too much. It's a beautiful dark emerald green shade. Yes, and it's smooth, but be careful because it can get a little chunky. And then the last shade is Illuminati, also a dazzle shadow. This is a black shade, but it has a shimmer to it, which I love. A satin type of black instead of like a flat matte black. And that is smooth. It has like really micro fine gold glitter. You can barely see it, but the texture of it is stunning. So that's it for the regular formulation from MAC. Now we're gonna move on to the powder kiss. So here you go, take a gander. Those blues, that purple, that, oh, these rich tones, love them. For the powder kiss eyeshadows, I picked up five shades, five neutral shades. The texture reminds me of the matte squared eyeshadows. I gotta clean off my fingers real quick. So these are like the matte squared eyeshadows. They're really silky. Like they feel so silky to the touch. It's just, oh, they feel so good. Okay, dry. So this first shade is Best of Me. Look how smooth. It's just a creamy ivory shade, loving that. And then we have What Clout, which is a nudie, like, mm, I would say more of a caramel brown. Oh, look at that. I love these Powder Kiss eyeshadows. They're a little bit more expensive. Are they? No, I think they're the same price as the regular line, which I think is $8, and then the Dazzle Shadows are 9 Or it may be that the Dazzle Shadows and the Powder Kiss are $9. I feel like they're more expensive. But that's the shade What Clout. Then we have So Hot right now, so it's a burnt orange shade. I mean, they feel so, look at this. They feel so silky. They apply in like one swipe. Come on now, that's nice. This next shade is Devoted to Chili, which is a deeper, richer, burnt orange, like a red-based orange. Does look like a chili shade, so good. And then the last shade is this rich dark brown shade. It's so stunning. This one is Give a Glam. And I love 
dark shades like I said and a dark brown who doesn't love a dark brown you can use this to darken up any look and it's so smooth and creamy look at them I mean the texture of these is just stunning I will pick up more of these powder kiss eyeshadows I'm gonna see like what else they have in their line that is powder kiss because I am very impressed and very happy with these shades some of the other shades I wasn't really interested in but these shades come on now so there you have it those are all the eyeshadows I showed you my dazzle shadows showed you some new shades from Mac and also some of my old favorites and some new powder kiss eyeshadows so hopefully you guys enjoyed the swatches all right guys so was that fun for you? You can tell me if this was like a complete bust of a video or if you enjoyed it as much as I did because new eyeshadows, oh my god, MAC has always been a long-term love of mine, okay? It's an old love, it's like a high school love that you never quite get over, but you know, you've moved on, you've dated other people, and then you come back once in a while and check them out and you're like, MAC? You still got it going on. I know why I fell in love with you in the first place. And I still think MAC is great. And they're doing some good things. It's just that they're not getting the hype from the online makeup community. But trust and believe they're still getting love from like the pro artists and other countries around the world. And now I'm showing them some love too because I am so in love with these eyeshadows. Oh my god. And they've added some new shades. Did you see the new shades? Shut your face. Shut your face. Aren't they glorious? Are you excited? Are you interested in checking out some more MAC eyeshadows now? And the Pro Pans are a little bit cheaper than like an eyeshadow pot. So if you wanted to just dabble in the Pro Pans, you can pick up the regular shades. So like the mattes and the shimmers that I showed in this video, you can pick up some of those for $8 for the Pro Pan style. The Powder Kiss eyeshadows and then the Dazzle shadows are $9. So they're a dollar more than the other eyeshadows. And you know what? I'm happy with my new collection of MAC eyeshadows and I can't wait to incorporate these in videos. I actually used a little bit of the dark brown one. What is this called? Oh my god, what is that on the back of it? Oh! Give a glam. That is so cute. I used a little bit of that on my outer V and I mean, listen, it applied so well. Pardon, okay, these powder kiss eyeshadows, I am here for it. So they are reminiscent of the matte squared shades like I mentioned, and I am just having a ball. So hopefully this video was fun for you guys. Right, right? We are playing with our makeup, okay? We're having a good time, and I'm taking you along for the ride because why not? And my internet service is top notch right now. I can upload a video same day, stop. I've literally filmed, edited, and uploaded a video today alone what i am efficient listen i feel renewed i feel excited and i am again sharing all this love and excitement with you guys so hopefully you found this video helpful and fun and engaging and i will leave links below to mac cosmetics where you can pick up the pro pants because i don't think you can pick them up at a mac counter they only have the pots available so i will leave the link to the website below you can check them out they're also available at macy's nordstrom bloomingdale's and even at ulta in case you wanted to check them out there but I'm also gonna leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys